I have a Samsung TV. Um, this is a 24 inch. It's not really important what model, but I'll try to put that down in the comments. What happened was it stopped working and I was getting a blinking red light and I've replaced the board on one of my other Samsung TVs from a power surge years ago and I didn't go to the trouble to figure out what was wrong with it. This is the power supply board. So most of these TVs there's a power supply board and then there's a main board. The power supply board has capacitors on it. See these capacitors here? And see how the top of this one's flat. Well, <clears throat> these capacitors can go bad. The other day we had a power flicker and <clears throat> When that happened, that's when this happened to happen. I don't know if the two were related or not. And by the way, you need to be careful of this largest capacitor. I understand it can carry enough voltage that could kill you. See, it says 450 volts. But um, I looked at my main board when I took it out. And you'll have to find a video or figure out how to take apart your own TV because they're all a little different. And this capacitor here looked to be the culprit. See the top of that capacitor is bulged. And in the very center of it, there's a blue streak. That's not what I'm thinking about right now. The telltale sign that it's bad is not only it's bulged, but there's a black dot in the middle. And that's because it's a little bit cracked and it's starting to leak. So that's a telltale sign that this capacitor is bad. I took out the capacitor after I got this out with a soldering iron. You can get a soldering iron at any home improvement store and, or on the web. And I touched it here on the capacitor on the positive and the negative side and the polarity of these things do matter. So um, I removed it. If you look you can see the polarity. See that side is a negative, negative, running up and down through there. You turn it sideways, it's a negative. And if you look on your board, mine's easier because it's on the edge. But if you look on your board, you'll see a side that denotes the positive side of that. So it's that other side. So you want to line those up when you put in a new capacitor in. So how do you figure out <clears throat> what to replace it with? Most radio shacks you can't really go to anymore because a lot of them are out of business. But you see this, you can match up the uh, the stats on the side, 10 volts and 1,200 microfarads, I think it is. I'm not even sure. Um, match those numbers up and also match up the temperature on here that it's rated for. In this case, it says 105 degrees Celsius. And go on eBay or go on uh, Amazon and find a match and so it's hard you can't really buy one usually so I ended up buying I don't know 20 for seven dollars shipped off of eBay and you'll see I matched up the specifications on there and I'm going to put this back in that should be the negative side and then to the opposite side is the positive side and you stick these two holes through the correct polarity and then you touch solder to it and solder it back up. So I've placed the capacitor through here. I've got the negative side on the negative side and the positive side on the positive side. Because I'm filming this or videoing it with one hand and yeah I don't have a tripod with me know my videos are not professional I'm going to now touch this with solder and uh, and then clip these uh, leftover wires off okay let's see how successfully I can one-handed solder this you get the concept I'm going to pause this and come back Okay, I've made my connection and then I clipped, clipped the wires and um, now I have a nice new capacitor that's not compromised on the top 
and I'm going to put this back in the TV and we'll give it a test. Okay, I got everything back together and I feel like I'm hanging you guys out to dry a little bit because getting it apart and together may be the hardest challenge, but you'll figure it out. I would say be careful with the cables, no matter what your TV is. This one's a little tricky. You squeeze the ends and then pull it out. Some of this came out. And then uh, if you want to take this one off, this is the video cable. You flap this black up and then pull it out. Anyway, I got it back together. And when I plugged it up, I heard that familiar Samsung turn on noise. And that fixed it. So, really a $1 capacitor, although I had to buy $7 worth to fix my monitor. I say monitor, it's a TV monitor, 1080. And, um, you know, these are so cheap, why not buy a new one for $169 or whatever? But look what goes in the landfill, and this is a perfectly good monitor otherwise. So that's how to fix your Samsung monitor by replacing the capacitor.